welcome back to this channel where I help you to stay fit, healthy, strong, active, and balanced, as well as stretchy. Because for the class today, it's going to be a short, yummy hip opener, light stretches for your hips. I've noticed that I've already uploaded two videos to sculpt and tone your booty. So this is a really great way to help release the muscles that we have engaged for those two previous videos. So without further ado, uh, prepare a block. If you don't have a block, you can also use books as well as pillows. Otherwise, feel free as well to uh, skip any prop if you are comfortable already with where your flexibility is at. Also, a reminder, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe as I upload two new videos in this channel every week to help you achieve your goals. So start in your easy Sukhasana position, crossing one leg over the other. Begin just by closing the eyes to help you settle into your practice today. Feeling live entering the body. And feel as well every muscle relax with every exhalation. Inhaling, feeling this, the spine move up towards the sky. And as you exhale, feel yourself root down through the hips. Inhaling, growing taller. And exhale to ground down. Take an inhale here, and exhale to gently open the eyes. Inhale to reach the arms up and over the head, stretch up. And slowly as you exhale, take your right hand back, left hand on the right knee, inhale. And exhale to twist, gazing over towards the right shoulder. Keep the belly in and spine stays soft. Inhale here, exhale, coming back to center, inhale to reach up. And exhale, switch it over towards the other side. Right hand onto the left knee, left hand back. Inhale here. And exhale to gently twist, gazing over the left shoulder. Keep the belly button pulled in and spine staying tall. Inhale here. And exhale to come back to center. Inhale, reach the arms up and over the head. And exhale to fold forward. A gentle hip opener. Right here in your easy Sukhasana position or easy seated uh, cross-legged pose. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, cross left foot or left shin in front of the right. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to fold. Making sure that you're keeping both the hips rooting down, grounding down towards the earth. No stress on the low back here. You feel a stretch on the hips. And slowly inhale to rise back up. Exhale to come back into seated. So I'm going to show you from the side. Take your hands over towards the back. You can have the fingers pointed out, especially if your wrists are feeling a little bit tender. Have your feet wide towards the side. Inhale here. Exhale to take your right knee over towards the uh, right side. And then left knee as well, following over towards the right. Inhale here. Exhale to come back to center and switch over towards the opposite leg. Inhale to come back. And exhale to dropping back towards the right uh, side. You can have the right arc or the arch of your right foot on top of the left thigh. Inhale here. And exhale to fold over the right shin. If this is too much, you can also fold over the right knee, which is, make, which is going to make the stretch a little less intense. Breathing steady and slowly here for four, three, two, one. Inhale to slowly pushing yourself gently back up and then exhale to come back to seated. Place your hands back again, lifting the knees up, and then exhale to turn towards the opposite side. 
coming into a seat with an internal rotation on the right hip, external on the left. Inhale here and exhale to fold over the left chin or over the left knee to make the stretch a little less intense if you're already feeling a little bit of a discomfort. Steady breath. Breathe for three, two, one, and inhale to slowly come back up. Exhale, crawl yourself back in, taking your hands back. Knees again pointing up, belly button pulled in. Now try to point your fingers towards the front, bending into the elbows, keep the chest lifted. And as you inhale, pop the heart up. Try to bring the shoulder blades together, keep the belly button pulled in, just an easy stretch for the spine or the upper back. If you are comfortable, release the chin and gaze up. Steady, slow breath, in and out through the nose. Inhale here, and slowly as you exhale, bend back into the elbows, keep the belly button pulled in, chin back towards the chest. If you had to release, Press yourself back into a seat. From here, keeping your right knee bent, cross your right foot over outside of the left thigh. Inhale here. And slowly as you exhale, use your right hand to press or to get that stretch, good stretch on the glutes here. Hug the right knee with your left elbow. And then ground down through the right heel Ground down through the right hip as well to get that good stretch. With every exhale, maybe you go deeper into a twist. If you're comfortable, take your right hand over behind you. Belly button pulled in. Breathe for four, three, two, one. Exhale to slowly come back to center. And then from here, keep the right foot over the left thigh, lean onto your left hip, bend the left knee. Grab a hold of your block or a book or a pillow. So you should be uh, looking like this with your left foot close towards the right hip. Now, if you can, crawl your right foot over close towards the left hip into your Gomukhasana legs or cow face seated position. If this is too much, you can grab a block or a pillow or books and rest the bottom knee on that block. There should be a really good stretch on the uh, outer hip, uh, especially on the top leg. From here, inhale with or without the block. If you are comfortable, exhale to crawl and fold, bow down towards the earth. Breathe for four. Three, two, one. Inhale to slowly press yourself back up and exhale to crawl it back. And from here, slowly unravel, taking your feet back towards the front. Now from here, we'll switch it over towards the other side, bending the left knee, crossing the left foot over outside of the right thigh. Use your left hand to help you ground down into the left heel. Inhale and exhale. Hug the left knee with your right elbow and twist. Ground down through the left heel as you ground down through the left hip as well to get that good stretch on this side of the body or on your glute. With every exhalation, maybe go deeper into the twist. If you're comfortable, place your left hand back Follow the direction of your left shoulder. And I want you to focus more on getting that stretch here on your glutes as well as your on your glutes or your outer hips instead of focusing more on the twist. So you want to get that good stretch on this uh, muscle area. Breathe for three, two, one. Exhale we're up wherever you are. Come back, unravel. And now bend the right knee, lean more onto your right hip, bend the right knee, take your right foot close towards the left hip. And same thing as what we did on the opposite side.
crawl your right foot over towards the opposite hip. If this is too much, grab your block, place your block underneath the bottom knee. Right, and then don't move forward if there is any pain on any joint, especially your knee or your hip joint, right? So just um, modify the position however you need to. And if you are comfortable, exhale to bow down towards the earth. Breathing slowly and steadily in and out through the nose. For four, three, two, one. Inhale, slowly rising up and exhale to crawl the hands back. Unravel gently and slowly your legs. Roll all the way down onto your mat. Bending both the knees here. Inhale to flex the right foot. Take your right ankle on top of the left thigh. Open the right hip, pressing the right knee forward. Belly button pulled in. Now, if this is already too much for you, you can just stay here and work on opening that right hip can even use your hand as support. If you are comfortable, you can interlace your fingers behind the left hamstring. And if you want more, you can even go in front of the shin. And breathe here, breathe into that hip. Slow, steady breaths in and out through the nose. Feels really good on my glutes. Breathe towards that space where you feel really tight. Make sure there's no pain on your joint here, especially your knee. Steady breath. Inhale here and exhale to return to neutral, both the feet down and we'll switch sides. Flex the left foot, take your ankle on top of the right thigh. You can use your hand to help you open up into the left hip. Keep the belly button pulled in. Make sure the low back uh, is not lifting off of your mouth. So you can either stay here or maybe you hug your fingers around your right hamstring or right thigh. And again, if you want more, you can even go in front of the right shin and then pull that right knee as close as your body allows you to. And then keep pressing that left knee out. Relax, make sure there's no tension in the neck. Breathe easy here. Inhale here. And exhale to slowly let go. Take your left foot back down onto the mat. Take the soles of your feet together and just allow the knees to drop down towards the sides. Taking your hands at the side of the hips with the palms facing open. And then don't force your knees to move closer down towards the earth. Just allow gravity to do the work for you here. Allow the uh, bones to grow heavy. And then don't resist pull from the earth. Rather, surrender towards that force. And if you're ready, you can close the eyes here. Just allow yourself to melt into your Shavasana with a Baddha Konasana position on your leg. And if you are ready, or if you feel like you are uncomfortable uh, staying in this position for long, you can place your heels, release your heels towards the side edges of your mat, and just relax into your Shavasana. Take however long you need in your Shabbat.
Vasana. Thank you for practicing with me here today. And I hope to see you again soon on our next video.